the reason why uh, spreading the viruses amongst spam is so very effective for these people, these, these criminals are very sly, and they know how people think. And the reason why it's so effective is because people think that the reason why they were sent the spam or redirected to the spam site was for the purpose of that one out of a hundred people that will actually click on the link and go ahead and buy the product. That's not the case. I think most everybody knows that those are bullshit links. I, I doubt there's much of anybody that thinks it's not a bullshit link. When you're talking about weight loss, you're talking about young people. And so maybe if they're an individual that's under 20 might not know, and has never used a computer before, might not know Akai Berry is bullshit. Most everybody else knows it's bullshit. I think that spam is not effective for uh, getting people to buy products. I think they want you to think that it's effective and that it, there's a cliche phrase that's passed along from one person to the other. Well, we know spam's effective. That's why they do it. They do it because some people are, are suckers enough to go ahead and buy. No, they don't. They do it because they want to send you that one percent or that half percent that contains that virus so they can get your personal information and they can sell it. They don't want to use that personal information themselves because they don't want to get caught. They want someone else to get caught because that's why they sell it. But it's all set up so that no one's going to find out who this, these, people, these people are. Also the, de the design of the malware and the, the system of the malware, it's called the botnet, that's designed to not catch the individuals that are doing these things. It's designed so someone on a computer can tell one computer that they have control over to tell a whole bunch of other computers so that that one computer is insignificant enough to actually make it different. You know, so shutting down one or two computers, or sorry, to shut down the totality of all the computers that are compromised is such an overwhelming task they don't bother, no one bothers doing it. You can't. If there's 10,000 computers out there and I said, okay, you're going to call those people and tell them their computer is compromised. And of course, when they look at their computer, it's going to look like everything's normal. Um, how many of those 10,000 do you think you're actually going to call and convince to actually uh, do something about the malware on their system? Well, maybe half will believe you. And of those half, maybe about 25% 20, about of your total will actually do a virus scan. And then maybe, maybe, 5% will do a fresh install, which is what they should do. So we still have, even if you took the effort, the overwhelming and daunting effort to call or email, uh, call 10,000 people to contact them directly and personally talk to them, which would probably take a year to do so, only about 5% would even take your call seriously and do the right thing and reinstall their system, as exemplified by um, Big Bart's video. Um, that's the situation. It's not because Big Bart's stupid or Big Bart didn't have an antivirus program on there. Or surely there's something wrong with Big Big Bart. It just is unsophisticated. No, it's not that. Big Bart's probably just as sophisticated as anybody, most anybody. He probably did have a virus program, and he probably did do recent, recently did an update. But you know what? So do the people that make the viruses. They do their updates, and they do them about every 20 minutes. And they may do not just one update, but hundreds, because they have uh, they have software that will make their virus a little bit different than the other one. To add a little bit of junk to this part of the binary over here, and, and but you know, or this part of the binary over there, or that part, or that part, or endless parts, or not this junk, but this other junk, or you know, <laughs> it's absolutely impossible for the virus vendors to keep up with this. And I'm sure there are a lot of variants of these uh, viruses that slip through their fingers. Probably is still a significant amount. So um, it's now down to the virus writers setting their targets on the big players, the, the, the people that control botnets that are hundreds of thousands, if not a million computers large, you know, those things that are, um, and still are proliferating new virus versions every 
God, every time they feel like it. Um, it's just the, 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 basically the internet has a virus and it can't be, it's sick and it can't be cured the way it is. There's, there needs to be a fundamental change with the design of the way the internet is because users are too stupid to actually, or, or lazy, or ignorant, or uneducated to actually realize the threat and how the little bit, it's like death by a thousand cuts, I saw in one of the, these articles. People just don't know what it is that they're doing or how they're contributing to the overall ruin of everybody else's experience on the internet. So that's my say. And so don't think that if you had a virus detected on your computer that um, somehow if you go out and get malware bytes and spy bot search and destroy and and uh, you know, hijack this and all these other things and you've cured your operating system of anything go search YouTube carefully because even YouTube videos now they're starting to infect those things to try to spread their, spread their fucking viruses but if you look for if you see something like a Google Tech Talk or or something of that nature, you can go and uh, watch a video, a few videos on rootkits, and you'll just you'll find out just how surprising, just how misunderstood, just just how uneducated and misunderstood you you were about the whole situation. And once you see that, you'll realize that the only safe way to deal with these things and to eradicate, or at least do your part to not contribute to the problem. To do, a, to do a reinstall. I've said that a million times in this presentation. And eventually, someday, people are going to give a shit when their power plant goes out because of a denial of service attack or their company has to fire them because they have to buy this new, all this computer equipment because they have to fend off all the crap or they can't use the internet or email is absolutely useless because it's so flooded with spam. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, hopefully, someday, if you're amongst that crowd, you'll learn. I'm not crying wolf. I'm telling the truth. And eventually, someday, that'll be clear to you. But um, that's where I'm going to stop now.